And it's time for some food now. Mm. Yum. And one of my favourite dishes... Yeah, Marcus Bean is here in the studio to show the Duchess and everyone at home the secret to the perfect carbonara, whether you're with in the kitchen or not. Hello, Marcus. Hello. It's Hello, so the way you said one of my favourite dishes and then you said Marcus Bean. I thought that was great. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that. Do, I mean, yeah. We all know you're <laughs> a <deep laughs> worst kept yep. secret of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we are going to be doing a classic carbonara, but you can tweak this, you know, obviously this is a classic one, so I've done it a classic way. Now we've got guanciale, which is basically a pork jowl or pork cheek. Guanciale, it's so cured. nice. Yeah, it's not smoked, so it's just cured. It has quite a lot of fat in it, but it's absolutely delicious in flavour. You've obviously all got the dishes ready to go. So yeah, one thing we involved. Do, get in there, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Now, if you can't... Uh, no, some people might not be able to get guanciale. If you can't get that, you could use some normal crispy bacon. You could use uh, a little bit of pancetta if you've got it. It's absolutely fine to tweak it. This is just a classic sort of Italian recipe. So I've cooked this down, really slowly cooked mm. it. Can you see how crispy that is? And we just drain this lovely crispy... <gasps> Oh, my God, it's so tasty. We've all oh, been having Marcus. a little nibble on this. It's just this delicious. This is delicious, Mark. And there is a lot of fat in, but actually we use the fat as part of the recipe, so this is the really important bit. So adding this in, and the guanciale, basically, as I said, is a cured pork cheek. Um, and it's actually arrives from guanciale, which is basically cheek in Italian. And that's why they call it this. So we've got that now. So now you can see I've got a little bit of fat in the pan. Is that the here. cheek there? Is that the whole... Yes. The yeah. Massive. So the jowl runs into the face. So you've got the cheek and then the jowl. And the, the jowl tends to be a little bit fattier. Uh -huh. um, but in terms of flavour, it's just delicious because it's sort of salt cured. You don't need to add any extra salt. Into so it's the idea that you, you cook that on a low heat for a long time. A low or... heat, get it lovely and crispy, bring it all together. And then we get a few other it's ingredients crispy, together. Mm. So I'm just Love going to... Now, once I've done that, you can see there, we've got that bit of fat in. So that's all of our flavour. So then we can go straight in. all that. In. Oh, yes. You can't waste it. Fat equals flavour. That's yeah. the thing. You know, when that's we, what, we, that's you know, what I say about rules. me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the flavour. Always you know got, got the flavour. Always bring the flavour. And I think that's the thing that's really important. <laughs> when, we're, when we're doing these dishes, you know, the Italian diet is, is healthy, but it does have that balance of fats. But they're good fats, right? They're good fats, yeah. exactly, yeah. So Great. we're now mixing the cooked pasta into that warmed bit of fat that's left over. We've got the crispy gun chili here. I'm going to mix a little bit of this into... And is that happy to sit there for a bit? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so what you don't want to do, you can reheat the pasta, absolutely fine to put it onto the heat again. What we don't want to do, because we're using egg yolks here, in fact, Where would, you you like doing a, would, would you mind doing a little bit of whisking? Oh, would of you course, be sir. No. Test you. Well, you know, we'll give you a little <laughs> you cookery lesson while we're I'm here. I'm happy so. to use the whisking <laughs> with you, Marcus. So with... <laughs> Um, where do you buy that from? So, you can normally get this from very good delis. Um, it's traditionally an Italian cured product, but actually we do a lot of British cured products now as well, which is fantastic. Yeah. But as I said, if you're struggling to get hold of this, you could use a pancetta, nice and crispy, uh, get that lovely and cut down, or just a little bit of streaky bacon is absolutely fine. Marcus, this is yes. a lovely moment for me, because when I was first starting out as a researcher, I was working on a show called Light Lunch. Remember with oh, Melon yes. Soup? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And that. the idea was someone different would come in and, and do lunch every day with okay. any guests and stuff. And Sarah's late father. Uh, Major Ron came on and did Kedgery for us, oh, and he was the loveliest guy. It was yeah. so, it was really, and and what was... was so sweet was that, that he really took a shine to this oh. lovely researcher, Dermot, yeah. and he gave his Kedgery to Dermot. He did, I oh. ate his Kedgery. Oh, and so he was dish of the day that day. He was. Your dish of the day this day. Oh, he was a... I tell you what, he, that was a he mean was a Kedgery he made. <gasps> it was really good. Was that from his time in the army? In yes, India, I that's right. Yeah. 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 He loved spices. it. His Kedgery's just really delicious. Nice. But what Flavors. am I doing here, Dermot? So just though... Where's well, that one? Let's give it a little bit of there. Oh, we are. Let's go. Alison. And what I've done whiskey. here, so you've got now, you, there's lots of different recipes, but generally you've got egg yolks. Some have whites in, but the egg yolk is what gives that creaminess. There is no cream in a classic carbonara. Oh, oh. You can put it in there if you want to, but generally it doesn't have cream in it. Marcus, do you. You normally use this like in. mostly egg yolks you, you and a whole egg, or how does it work? Yeah, so for this recipe, I've got three egg yolks and one white. What's well, in one there? whole egg, basically. What's Mix in there? Mix that in. This now is our pecorino and our parmesan, so use both. Right. Um, and we whisk that together. Do you want me to finish yes, yes, yeah, I'll finish that one off for you. You, you yeah, enjoy yeah. your lunch. Yeah, thank you. Right, and then literally whisk this together. <laughs> and then this now just goes into. So this is what brings that creamy texture together. Now, here's the thing, a lot of people are going to go, oh, I'm, you know, I'm a bit nervous about the eggs yeah, and stuff. So do panic. you turn that on now, heat-wise? No, so this has already been warmed because the pasta's come straight from the water. Yeah. We've added the pasta water into the cheese and the egg, mm -hmm. which has warmed it through, to make almost the base of that cream. We then add it into a warm pasta. Don't put this back on the heat because that's when your egg can scramble and go split. But oh. it will sometimes look like it's a little bit bitty. That's just the cheese starting to melt. And if you give this a little bit of a warm through, then you end up with this lovely creamy texture. And that is 
where the cream idea of sure. sort of carbonara comes from. But it's so simple and so quick. So simple, so delicious. And the only thing you need is just literally some black pepper in this. That's it. It doesn't need anything else. Obviously, we don't need salt because we've got that, the guan charlie, and then you just go straight over the top. I can't believe it's just eggs that brings it together. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So easy, So that's that classic um, dish of where you just put the egg yolk over the top. And as I said, you could use a bit of cream if people want it just for it. I mean, to be fair, you don't need the extra fat. It's all about it. that pasta water, isn't it's it? It's the pasta water and also it's the cheese. So pecorino is basically a younger cheese compared to a parmesan. So parmesan is matured for much longer, a little bit saltier. And that's sheep's cheese, though. Yes, but an absolutely delicious That's sheep's and that's cows, basically. Yeah. So you get this incredible flavour, lighter. But the two together works fantastic well. Dynamite. Again, if you can't get pecorino, you can use palm salad. Sarah, do you yes. love Marcus's voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thoroughly recommend you follow him on Instagram. He does okay. loads of recipes she's, and he just hears his beautiful voice. Just don't even need to watch it, just turn and it on. Honestly, off and just go, oh, it will you do say when you're having a bath? Sarah, <laughs> it will do things. When you're having a bath, <laughs> it's lovely to have okay, Marcus. OK, OK. Dermot and Alison, you listen to him in the bath? No. Yeah, just say, yeah. <laughs> I just listen to him full start. He's amazing. When they finish the show, they get in the bath, they put the TV on, I'm in the background, and, you know, there we go. It's done. Strictly only in the bath. At that. Oh, Marcus, well done. Okay. And there well, we well have done, a fantastic well classic done. carbonara. Yeah, but I'm really glad that you've actually shown me how to do it, because it's the first time I've seen it done. Well, and also, it's so simple, there's not many ingredients. So the one thing to remember is when any, creating any dish, just take your time with it, relax, enjoy it. Oh, thank you, Marcus. And most of all, just enjoy the dish. Well, listen, if you <laughs> fancy giving Marcus's carbonara a go yourself, all the recipes and details are on this, this morning. No.